OK, so ladies and gentlemen, what we're, um, we're going to talk about here is at least a regular and an irregular polygons. All right. Now, when we're talking about a regular polygons, what that means is they're going to have is equal angle measure and equal side length. So one of the one of the famous, two famous that we talked about is a triangle and a square. Okay? Because remember, if we say I'm talking about a triangle, all a triangle has to have is three sides, right? Just has to have three sides. However, if a triangle has three sides and three angles that are all equal, we call that an equilateral triangle, right? But there's more types of triangles than just equilateral. You could have isosceles, you could have scalene, right? You can have all these different types of triangles. However, when you have a triangle that has the same, um, same side lengths and same angle, angle measurements, we call that a regular triangle as well, all right? Or at least a regular polygon in its form. Now, what about if you had a four-sided figure that has all four sides are equal and all angles are equal? Does anybody know what we call that? It's a square, right? So therefore, that's going to have four sides that are equal, and then four angles that are equal. All right. So irregular just means that it's not going to have all the side lengths are going to be the same, nor is all the angles going to be the same. So if you want to do an irregular triangle, you could just do like an obtuse one, right? Um, a irregular quadrilateral, make a nice like little trapezoid or something like that. But it just means that not all the angles and sides are going to be the same. Now this comes in a, this comes into impo being important when we look at like an eight five eight sided figure. And what I'm saying is you guys can go through this many many times. So let's um, let's just actually move up to the next one, fifth sided figure. So if I say you have a polygon with five sides and you draw it, you're like, well. One, two, three, four, five. OK? Um, however, a lot of times you might you would say, well, this side is longer than that side, right? So even though it's a fifth sided figure, not all the angles or the side lengths are going to be equal. I'll try to do my best. Well. Sorry. Gets a little bit harder drawing. Man, that's horrible. It's close. That's a good one. Whatever. I'm writing these lines in there. That means they're all equal. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to understand, all right? When you have a regular polygon, all the side lengths and all the angles are going to be equal. Now. What is the sum of a triangle? Sum of all the interior angles in a triangle? 180. How many, tri how many, tri how many angles, though, do we have? Three. So if I want to say, what is the measurement, then, of each individual angle, I would take 180 and divide it by three. Does that make sense? Zeph, do you have a question on that? No, OK. So you divide it by three, so therefore, on a regular triangle, each individual angle is worth six, is as a measurement of 60 degrees. Can you do that for this one? Can I simply just take 180 and divide it by 3? No, because you obviously know that's an obtuse angle and that's an acute. So they're not going to be the same. But when you have a regular figure, you can take the sum of the interior angles, which we've already talked about, how to find them, and then divide it by how many angles you have. That's going to be the measurement of each individual angle. So over here. We know that the sum of a quadrilateral is going to be 360. And then how many angles do we have in a quadrilateral? Four. That four, that equals 90 degrees. What about a pentagon? How many, ang how many what's the sum of all the angles in a pentagon? What is it? 540. 540. And then how many angles do we have? Five. So then, how, what is the measurement of each individual angle? Well, 5 goes into 500. 
100 times, and then 5 goes into 40, 8 times would be 108. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you guys to understand is this is the measurement of each individual angle. So, yes, I might ask you, what is the sum of all angles? That's just n minus 2 divided by 180. But if you want to find the measurement of an individual angle, you do n minus 2 times 180 and then divide it by the number of sides. Okay? 